Smaller dinosaurs was also a waste of energy. To ensure her offspring didn't go hungry, the Nanoxaurus mother enlisted the help of a few companions to target larger prey. Pasherhinosaurus, a two-ton herbivorous giant with formidable defensive capabilities. Despite their size and strength, Pasherhinosaurus were still herbivores, and the Nanoxaurus, though smaller, were natural predators capable of posing a deadly threat. The Nanoxaurus were strategic hunters. They waited patiently, searching for an opening in the Pasherhinosaurus herd. The herb Herbivores, aware of the danger, retreated to an open area, forming an impenetrable defensive line with their armored heads and muscular bodies. The Nanoxaurus tried several times to break through, but failed each time. Tensions rose as a blizzard swept in, forcing both sides to hold their positions. The Pachyrannosaurus knew that as long as they stayed united, they were safe. The heavy snow brought a temporary ceasefire, with the Nanoxaurus biding their time and the Pachyrannosaurus staying close together. But as soon as the storm passed, the battle resumed. In the chaos, one Pachyrinosaurus strayed from the group, and panic quickly spread. The herd scattered, and the slowest member became the target of the Nanoxaurus. Despite seeing their companion in danger, the other Pachyrinosaurus dared not return to help. The isolated male, exhausted and alone, had no choice but to turn and face the predators. Though it fought valiantly, it was ultimately overwhelmed. This skirmish was just the beginning. For the Nanoxaurus, raising their young meant that the struggle against the Pachyrinosaurus would continue throughout the winter. Each hunt was a matter of survival, a relentless battle against the elements and their formidable prey. Follow me as we journey through time, uncovering more legendary tales of prehistoric giants.